you know why Nostradamus's quatrains always can be applied to multiple things and they're kind of so vague that people question their validity? I'll give you a, I'll give you some insight to that. The things that talk to Nostradamus are um, um, chaotic, you know, um, typically don't mean well entities, uh, putting it nicely. And uh, so they they enjoy confusion. They also feed off of fear. And also, spiritual messages have to apply to uh, multiple kind of things, so like past, present, and future. So when you get a spiritual message, the spiritual message has some sort of past origins. It also applies to the present moment, but it also implies effects of, to a future event. So that's like the triplicity of um, knowledge and, and divine messages and all that. So there's that. And then they like to also be am ambiguous because they don't like to necessarily give you everything because they, they're not informing you out of, you know, the kindness of their hearts or anything like that. These are predatorial spirits that, that affect people mentally, psychically, and spiritually. So causing confusion, disorientation, and uh, gaslighting you or causing cognitive dissonance makes you more mentally, like... Um, week I guess and and they they feed off of anxiety and fear and, and uncertainty and all that so when people criticize Nostradamus's quatrains for saying that they're so vague they could apply to multiple things that's exactly the way the spirits give messages like that and there there is a couple of uh, different ways with that if we don't want to go like the um, the um, malicious spirit route there are some things that you're supposed to figure out on your own and that event doesn't actually get um, like woven into the web of fate unless you do a specific thing that hasn't actually happened yet. So the universe, assuming you're not doing that thing, that event hasn't happened yet, therefore it can't give you the information. But there are some really vague you know, signs where you could go, wow, so you did step A, step B, step C, step D to get to you know, the, the finish. So that means that they can give you a detail about the, the very end. And they said, this detail will happen once you do all these things. So spiritual messages can't always be exactly direct. And they are often ambiguous, whether that's intentionally done for, um, you know, to conf for confusion, or if that's done because there are still multiple possibilities within the spectrum of choices that is free will. And those choices that lead up to that have not been made yet. Just thought that was an interesting tidbit of why are spiritual messages so vague? And why does it seem like Nostradamus like, were, was being very ambiguous with things? Because that's the way he got the messages. And God help him, dude. This shit's been... I don't remember how long he did all this, but I've just been doing this for like the past six years or so, and I... I'm done. I'm an, I've had enough of them confusing the hell out of me. And I'm glad I'm finally, you know, getting a hold of it. 